G'day YouTube. A couple of years ago, I made this. This is a dash for a or a Shelby GT. It's a, it's definitely for a Shelby anyway. But anyway, I lost the part, so I bought another model kit and I made I cast this one. Okay, now this was good. I haven't I haven't actually I haven't used it, so that's why it's here. I did a couple of silly things with the model model kit. Oh no. So eventually I'll get around to it. Well, anyway, so the way I did that is I I had the other part and I made a silicon mold. Then I just cast the uh, mold in here and I just took this out and here I just filled a couple of little spots about here, there and up there because I had a couple of air bubbles. I didn't have a chamber to put this in at the time and I still don't. Right now, and I thought to myself, hmm, what, what else can I put in this mold? I know, and I've been 3D printing for a little while, and I have some, I have some off, uh, off cuts and stuff, and I'm thinking to myself, yeah, we might be able to use some of this. Anyway, the other day I did a test. I did a test melt of um, the PLA. You didn't, I didn't videotape that, but this came out pretty good, actually. This come from, uh, basically it was part of the bottom of the thing. I've got some more down here. That's the, that's the other half. So that worked out quite well. That worked out quite well. And basically up the top here we've got air bubbles. But on the other side, we don't have air bubbles. We have a nice surface and it is quite strong. What I did here was I, I just cut this as uh, just a line so I could sort of, was playing with it anyway. Right now, so, that worked out quite well. So I'm thinking, hmm, instead of buying resin, I could use a silicon mold. And I might be able to get it so I don't have any bubbles in it. I mean, any. So I won't have to touch it up. I don't know how it will work. It might work alright, or it might be a bit flawed, but... I think it should work alright. Can't really see too many problems with the with the mold. Mold's pretty good. I know resin picks up a, a fair few um, print all the de fine details and stuff. So that so not as though I'm not unhappy with this. I'm quite happy with it actually. So I fill those bits so that that that's quite alright. That's ready to go. But I'm just thinking if we make we could make some more molds of different things, then we can use the three D off off cuts. 
instead of instead of all this going in the bin might be able to use some of these for different projects and stuff yeah so all sorts of bits and pieces and we've got a pink raft yeah though no so we're going to turn this actually i won't use pink i have to use the color that we could probably see all right maybe orange if you wanted to use put orange in there maybe I'll have to get some of these smaller bits of orange because they haven't they'd be a bit too big that that bit break some of these orange bits up and put it in I'll see what else I've got in here about little bits of orange it doesn't have to be orange it can be all sorts of different colors maybe you might do that put a little bit of pink in there Just whatever I can find. Yeah, that's just a little bit too big to start off with anyway. Bit of grey. Some light skin colour. A bit. This will take a little bit to do. Alright. Okay, so what we do is we start. start to break some of this small stuff up so I can put it in I won't show the whole press process of putting stuff in here, but we'll show you the melting process. This white stuff here is the the PVA glue that I use on the 3D printer. There shouldn't 
re shouldn't really be too much of a problem issue as long as you clean most of it out all right just Think there's more outside than there's inside of the mold at the moment. All right. Okay, that's pretty good for a start. All right, we're gonna put that in the oven now. Okay, I've just placed it in the oven. Better turn the temperature down actually. The temperature is at 180. Should bring it up to about about 200. Okay, as you can see here, the PLA is starting to melt. And it's starting to drop down into the mold. So what we'll do is we'll keep adding um, PLA into the mold until it's full. It's a bit hot. When working with um, PLA failed prints that's done on a, a 3D printer, you're always going to get air pockets trapped in the uh, PLA. So for example, this bit here, the way it's constructed, you'll have air pockets in there. It's just the way that the um, 3D printing works. So we don't have to, we don't have to strive to really get the, get our article completely, um, air bubble free even this one's not has still like air bubbles in there but if we can at least get our part that faces the mold bubble free then we'll be happy now oh, look at that the glass is a little bit cleaner And we're all looking through the dirty glass. Go 
gave it a wipe when the oven was hot and there we go. No more dirty glass. I tried wiping the glass when it was um, when it wasn't hot and that didn't work. So maybe the uh, oven has to be on before I can um, wipe it down. We're getting fuller. Slowly getting to the top. All I'm doing now is just trying to put little bits in. Just trying to fill the little holes. Right. It looks not too bad. Probably the probably looks a little bit like dirtyish looking. Cause we've got the orange and we've got the purple and got the pink and the Yeah. Other than that, I think it looks not too bad at the moment. You can tell that um because because there's a couple of different colours like come up. That's possibly like air bubbles that have come up through. That's what you normally find with the, when you melt the plastic. You do get air bubbles come up through the, um, through the layers. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so what we'll do now is we will unveil. We'll see how it turned out. This is the first time I've, I'm seeing it, just like you. Okay, this is the one that I, the resin one that I did. From the outset, it looks not too bad. All right, roll it over. Bring it up to the camera. I think they did a, a marvellous job. We've got all our detail around the, around the top here. Up around there.
See, it got down and it, it did that tiny detail in there. That's fabulous. Picked up the, ti the tiny lines on the, uh, on the dash, the dials. That worked out fine. Even picked out the radio. Okay, places it it failed on just here and just at the bottom of the radio there, and a couple little light air bubbles along this this edge here. Other than that, that they come out quite quite all right. Upon comparing, we are missing some detail along this this edge right right here, because on this one it's got it. No, we do have detail there. It's just uh, it was just a little bit hard to see because of the the light or the way that our colours are. Because I had to go out, I wonder if that was any indication. Why we, or maybe I could have left it in a lot longer. But I think that was still pretty good time anyway. This back bit here just has to be reduced down, so it's just meant to be flat along the back. So that back bit there is fine. Yeah, just a few air bubbles along those edges there. And there. Because what was that? That was... Nothing major in there anyway. Yeah, the silicon mould sort of aged a little bit, but we've got a couple of, I mean, one section, oops, a 
one section in here that I know about, just along this edge here, that's not quite the same. It's almost like that's worn away. Because on here, we see it. So that's all good there. But on this one, just along that edge there, it's not quite all there. So that's pretty good though. We could put putty on these little holes, fill those up. And I just need to put some putty in here. I might have another go at this tomorrow. And we'll see how we go. Because it definitely did pick up the details. It's just that... Hmm... Yeah, bubbles. Maybe a few more hours may have got that. Anyway, we'll try again tomorrow and see how that will go. But I'm liking that so far. Right, so yeah. Hey, we're back. Anyway, this is the first one that I did. And this is the second one I've done. Okay, the second one that I've done worked out really well. There are a few issues with it. Almost perfectly, there were a couple of couple issues. All the all the parts where I had problems before, they're pretty much gone. See along here, that's gone. Along this edge here, they're all gone. Okay, so I've got two issues with this. Is I've got a hole on the right here and right on this um bit here there's a hole there other than that that turned out really well really really well better than what i thought actually all this all this here just gets sand, sanded off so that's that's not a problem all right, so I, while I was doing this, I had black marks in here. There's still a black mark there. But, don't know, why I say that is because I noticed I had black marks on, on this other one that I had done. And then, eh, so... I got the, it looked like it was hard. I didn't show you. I didn't film any of me making this, this one. Anyway, so what I did was I picked it out. And basically what it was, it was like, like hard bits of plastic that had like gone gone hard most like they had it burnt before um me yeah. wasn't quite right I thought I thought did I introduce another sort of plastic in there I almost thought it was a cockroach or something like that but no it was just another bit of plastic Yeah, so, close-up view of this one. It, 
it was just almost like it was a different different temperature scale of this bit of plastic. Yeah. It all come from my my little pile of um, PLA. Whether there are some some bits in that PLA I mean it's all PLA but just possibly um, that certain brand of PLA that I used because there's a couple of different brands there that possibly melt, um, has a higher temperature um, comes within that in that that burn range and I went through that range well, that's possible but yeah you just need to keep an eye out when you when you are like molding with it yeah the bone the good thing is with these silicon molds I don't have it don't have an issue pulling this um the plastic out of it which is really well now if I was to see with the foot this is my daughter's foot when I pull this out of the silicon this will actually um, want to grip onto dear life but then again it wasn't necessarily this silicon it was a odd bod silicon so hmm has me thinking there yeah though know so I'm gonna give another go not on camera but there's a another way of doing it that I'm going to give it a try yeah yeah so really well but really well I'll bring the other one up I sort of like the different different color on on the first attempt but I thought I might try and standardize on the color a bit mostly um, white but there's a tiny bit pink on it yeah so with the first one we have the more you look at it the more errors you find but just like we had the hole here a few holes here what I'll do is do that. My hand moves around all the time. Alright, there we go. Alright, we've got a hole here, hole here, a few holes along that ridge there. Yeah, that one's not as pretty as the other one. Got a hole on that on that edge there. And also just just there the same as the other one other than that they that all turned out all right just for the, just for those few holes along there they could be easy partied up this one looked a little bit more dirtier but it we possibly could have saved this one See, there's a few, there's a few holes around that edge there. Then when you look at this one, it's almost perfect. No holes along there. No holes along that edge there. Okay, so far we've got one hole there, and. One hole here. Right there. We can fix that with putty. And we can fix the other one with putty. Right there. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That worked out really well. I know. Gonna give it another go. 
This is sort of easier sort of to work with than the re than the resin. I mean this might not be this might take longer than the resin to do, but if I've got the if I've got the PLA plastic may as well use that. Alright. There. 